Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Have you ever used some website or some tools and you think that wow, that is really great? Yeah, that is what I felt about this Perplexity AI. So in this video, I will navigate you through the UI of this website and we will ask something to it just to be clear that it is not the side by side comparison video between BARD or ChatGPT or Bing or something like that. I just find this website really helpful. That is the reason I'm sharing with you guys. First, let's go through the UI of this Perplexity AI. The name is quite strange, Perplexity. Okay, right, great. By the way, for using this website, you don't need to be logged in. So you can use without logged in, similar to some search um, like Google or something like that. So why I'm showing you this is because this is kind of a mix between the search engine as well as the large language models. ChatGPT plus Google search if you mix together it will be perfect on the left side there is your to your threads login sign up of course and on the down you can even download it for your iphone or android what happens if i click this okay ios android app and okay there is the chrome extension so there is the follow of course in twitter discord there is about blog privacy terms of service this is the normal things this is the main ui here there are some popular now kind of things displayed and as, as I said before, there is this perplexity for iPhone and perplexity for Android. You can download this if you want. The main thing here is ask anything here, right? And here, the good part, what I find is there is this different differentiation between Internet, Academic, all from Alpha, YouTube, Reddit, News. So you can actually click one of those and that will be customized for you. And you can ask anything here by the way if you just refresh this the popular one will be just refreshed there so you can just click this and start having a conversation or ask anything with that particular topic so yeah i was surprised because this will from alpha is in the chat gpt pro version right it is not available in other different platforms where we can chat something so i was actually surprised with this and there are many things so this is what it looks uh, when you are not logged in you can have a conversation and so on but if you go to this your threads it says that you need to be logged in because in order to, to save something you need to be logged in right and here is this quick icon so the quick is the concise answers that delivered quickly meaning that you don't need to log into the system but if you want to use the gpt4 this is actually quite surprising for me that they just announced i think three or four days ago today is 12 march 2023 for the hardest questions with richer answers powered by gpt4 limited free uses per hour for sliding window that's fine what i find this interesting is because they are including gpt4 and you you know that in order to get access to gpt4 you need to use different other tools and of course you need to be signed in it's the same here also but many people say that we want to use gpt4 in chart gpt but we can't use it because we need to be in the pro version and if i want to pay for the pro version also i cannot get access because we need to be in the waiting list so this seems to be a perfect match if you don't want to have the all the things if you search in the internet i hope you are familiar with searching in the google if you search there are tons of sponsors and in order to find the right answer you need to filter out many things right that is one drawback of google source and in uh, chat gpt and other llm walls uh, we can't get access to gpt4 directly or there needs to be some paid version or something like that at least for this moment this seems to be free so let's navigate and see some of the questions or let's ask something and i will now show you the logged in version here i am already logged in so there is nothing different but just the thing here is your threads here so if i click your threads so these are all the questions i asked and the good part of this what i find is <laughs> you can even sort what you what you have in your threads and if it even shows okay what time is it this is normal things but which particular topic we were choosing for example i started with lang chain and it shows nothing meaning that it is going through the internet right so if i just click this one so this is what i asked i asked lang chain and it provides me the answer and there is all the different links being provided to you so if i just click one of this link let's say i click this one it takes me to the particular website right by the way if you are new to these llms 
I am creating a playlist of LangChain where you can create cool applications out of it. Maybe the link is appearing on the right side of your screen or I will also put the link in the description. Feel free to choose any of those. Yeah, this is what you can do. And ask follow up question. If you just say more info, then it will just start from where it left. Right. So that is the thing that it says conversational chat history memory. So it remembers what we asked before and then it will just provide us the answer so yeah that is the thing and the good part what i find is here because i'm not showing you the answers which asking the questions in the thread right from the popular and then we can go here because it takes some time but you can just go to academics go to all from alpha youtube and source things and it is the same thing happening so i'm just showing you from the threads one good part what i find is let me go to the wool from alpha so here i have asked the question simplify 7 plus 5 divide by 2 where 7 and 5 are in brackets so as you can see here i provide the natural language and then there is the wool from alpha by the way to use this particular and gpt4 you need to be logged in into the system and then it provides me the answer okay to simplify this and this you get the answer this right and then it even provides you the link to the old from alpha it takes you to the website and from here the good part is you can go step by step so it shows you step by step answers and so on so if you don't know what old from alpha is this is good place where you can do all the math stops so this is quite powerful thing and what next let me go to my thread okay so now uh, i can go through here and the good part is i can go through and see okay which topic i asked right there is the reddit i asked something in reddit i said machine learning aws it gives me answers and the links to the reddit and by the way the links works perfectly because it goes to the reddit and there is the aws certificate there and if i again go back and see youtube right here is the langchain components what i asked is i just said langchain components and it provides different channels and by the way if you can see here it provides my channel also here because i'm as i said before i'm covering the langchain components or the series of langchain videos is going on right now so yeah that is how you can sort quickly and the one part of which i forget is maybe the enhanced part so this is what i said you so the enhanced meaning that it is using gpt4 and you can use this if you have complex kind of questions for example here i'm giving a quite a huge description right i want to have a machine learning implementation with pytorch covering topics such as data pre-processing model selection training and evaluation also making predictions so it first provide me the steps and the links also by the way that is really good and the links 90% of those I'm finding it correct links. It first provide me just the description and I just ask, can you provide me sample code for all the steps? And yeah, there is all the different things. I haven't actually copy paste this, but the good part is it provides the link here. And this is the perfect PyTorch link. And if you go here, this is the perfect geeks for geeks link. So here is train or deep learning model with PyTorch. So if you have the right link from where the information is being grabbed or it shows you the links, then it's great, right? And then you can even source for the related. So how to use Python for transport learning and all these things. So yeah, you can just go here and explore yourself. And the good part again is you can even share this. So share to Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, copy link. You can copy the link, share with others. So that is quite convenient. And these are becoming quite obvious nowadays. Because when I cover the hogging face um, chat UI also, it was also doing the same thing, right? So what is my thought about this? I'm not comparing anything related to chat GPT or other different things. But for me, at least it seems to be the right place to source. As, I, as they are saying that this is the next generation source platform. Yes, because it is the mixed of Google source or other different kind of source and the large language models, right? So that's really great. There might be some competitions already, but the good part for us is that we can use any of those, right? For us, we don't need to be restricted with only one platform. There are many platforms. We can switch between many platforms and we can use the one that we like the best. And this seems to be a good choice for me to go and ask about the large language model and as well as with the sorts, normal sorts. Yeah, so I hope you find it helpful. If yes, Go and use it and let me know in the comment section how you find it. Thank you for watching and 
see you in the next video